What the f... Oh, he's going to pick some up. We've just spent 40 francs on a sticker, which means we're in Switzerland. And I'm going to stick it on while Sarah's in the toilet, because she won't put it on straight. That should do us nicely. <laughs> Welcome to paradise, or more specifically, Lauterbrunnen in Switzerland. We've been here before. Um, oh! What the f... Oh, he's going to hit something on his not. We've just saw someone base jump, and he was... He was like one of those guys in the squirrel suits flying through the air and it just looked like a rocket. It did, but he looked like he was going to hit the rock face but then he pulled the parachute last minute, sheesh. Yeah, he's got a wingsuit on. Yeah, they do, they like fly, don't so they? There's, I think there's base jumpers and wingsuit jumpers. Anyway. Um, yeah, we've been here before. We came here in 2019. Um, absolutely loved it. Spent quite a few nights here. Glorious sunshine, beautiful. Um, we've been here for the SAR last night isn't it but we're gonna ask for another night but it's been we've, raining the last two days so we've mainly come out today because the sun is shining and it's lovely and warm Lauterbrunnen is a valley in between a load of mountains basically and the mountains are just sheer faced mountains mm. and I think from the ground here to the top it's probably at least 600 meters to the majority of them and how many waterfalls are there 72 72 waterfalls in this valley alone. As you walk down the valley here, there's loads of cows with bells, loads of little typical alpine wooden huts, farms, things like that. There's even little um, vending machines outside some of the farms where they sell the cheese and produce that they make and the eggs and what have you. I'm sure one of them had wine in, but we'll check on the way back. This is an Instagrammer's paradise. You have to walk out of the town to get away from the crowds. You have to literally fight your way through people posing for pictures rightly so because mm. it's it's the most photogenic place one of the most photogenic places you'll ever see it's, it's quite unique this place isn't it it is sure we said the same about Connexy. <laughs> we did and i thought Connexy was my favorite even though we've been here and now we're back here and i'm like oh this feels a bit like home mm. well we just like switzerland don't we mm. switzerland is a just phenomenal yesterday it was raining all day so Sarah decided, oh, we'll go in the restaurant and have a little uh, glue vine. So I had a beer, she had the glue vine. You liked the glue vine? I liked the glue vine, so then we got another two rounds of glue vine after that. Then we went and got food. Then we went to the kebab house and got a kebab, <laughs> as you do in Switzerland. And then we went just for a swift half and just for a swift half in the pub on the way home. Made some friends. Eight hours later, we got home. We made some American friends from uh, Seattle. It's good down this path as well that they've got toilets, little portable toilets, portable toilets. Portaloos. Portaloos. <laughs> yeah, all the way down. For tourists. Maybe. And then there's benches all the way down as well. Some of them even got bins. Just sit there and take in the view, which 
there's a lot to take in. You've also got quite a noisy glacial river running all the way down this valley. We wouldn't change it. The only downside to having high-sided mountains on the side of the walk is the bloody sun disappears pretty sharpish at times. Eh? It's four o'clock in the afternoon mm -hmm. and the light on this side of the valley has gone. Come for a quick mooch this morning just to try and get above this cloud of fog. I got the drone up to 120 meters and it was only just peeping above the fog, so there's not a lot more I can do with it. But I managed to get a little footage of the waterfall and a couple of photos of it as well. And now I'm going back to have a coffee. Away. I think it's called Wengen, but it's pronounced spelt Wengen. Wengen. Yeah, 
It's about a 10 minute train ride from the main station in Lauterbrunnen. I think it cost about six francs each for the train. That yeah. was one way. Um, for Switzerland, that's a bargain. Yeah, because we're going to walk down. We came here a few years ago when we last visited Lauterbrunnen, but we decided we'd walk up. So it's an hour and a half. It was the hottest day. We were, we were nibbling on Kendall mint cake and everything because it just destroyed us. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's there's not a lot here. It's got beautiful views of the valley. It's little shops and things. I think you can get a cable car higher up again, but we don't like the look of it. Um, you can see the valley, which we're camping in as well from above. Yeah, and you can see the Jungfrau. The very yeah. teeny tiny peak just popping over something else of the Jungfrau. It's a lovely little place to visit anyway. Currently walking back from Wangen. It's about a four and a half hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just under an hour. That's an hour. It's exactly. Look, Sarah's that donkey. It looks like a moose. Its head. See it? It's a bit far away to capture properly. But I've just zoomed in, so hopefully I've caught him. But we're either going to name him Moose Face Donkey, or for, for fans of Bo Selector, we'll call him Cocknose. <laughs> so when you're in the Alps, you have to eat bread. And we, especially me, have ate a lot of bread. And croissants and sandwiches and all that stuff. If there's any Alpine Europeans watching, is it... There's... there's, there's, there's there's bread everywhere. Do you eat as much as we do when we're here on holiday? Because if you do, how do you even move? Because <laughs> the, the, the bread here is just amazing. It's, it's too good to say no to. We're also desperate to get here in winter. Ski season. We need to see the Alps in win it's true winter fashion. But right now, it's actually quite good to be here this time of year because I've just been saying we're in t-shirts it's middle f f beginning of October and we're about 1300 meters above sea level and it's about feels like 20 degrees but there's autumnal colors coming in the seas as well now Does anyone know this song? This is the tune of the holiday and it's his fault. <laughs> Cheese is a kind of meat. A tasty yellow beef. I milk it from my teeth. But I try to be discreet. Mmm, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Google, cheese is a kind of meat. No, type into YouTube, cheese is a kind of meat. That one's for you, Lou. What's with the frown? I don't know what you, you want me to say. <laughs> we have just completed our walk down from Wengen. Come back to the van and just... done nothing. A couple of days ago, we decided to go to the little supermarket, Coop, and get a pizza. Now, we were going to get a small one that goes in the Ridge Monkey each, but then we found this big oblong shaped one for 10 francs so I thought we'd cut it up and put it in the ridge monkey so when we got back to the van after a few drinks Sarah just folded it up and shoved it in the fridge so what we're going to do now is cut it up and cook it in the ridge monkey hopefully hopefully show the folks at home mm. it's <laughs> <quite a> squashed <laughs> pizza <laughs> this is luck kids your beauty. Alan was setting the scene to sort of make it out as if he's cooking the pizza, but actually it's me because I do everything and he just doesn't. <laughs> smells nice. So, yeah. I might have to do this in like more than four sections. We'll get the red monkey out and measure it up. I think the rich monkey's like that big. 
apparently women are good at multitasking and men are good at spatial awareness, but I am good at spatial awareness. What do you mean spatial awareness? So like I'm driving past a car and I'm like, oh, will I fit, will I fit? And my man will be like, it's easy that, I fit through there. That sort of thing. I've looked at that and thought, that, what I've just cut, is perfect for this. Mm -hmm. Is she correct or is she not? Also, my hair's turned into Monica hair because of the humidity today. So is mine. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Oh yes, it's <laughs> gonna fit. She is the best. What um, what's that black bit? That's the cheese that slipped off, so I scooped it back up. So it's burnt cheese. <sighs> the good stuff, baby. Only for you. Executive decision. Done. Next one in. Oh, look at that big bit of So we've got our first piece cut in half. Mm -hmm. The other piece is in the Ridge Monkey. And then we've only got a tiny, teeny <laughs> little bit left. We're going to starve. We've earned it though, haven't we? Yeah. We walked downhill today. <laughs> you think of it? Nice, the, the base is really good isn't it? Yeah, it's stone baked. Mm -hmm. Sarah did well there, uh, she smashed most of that pizza while I struggled. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. I'm a pizza monster. <laughs> <laughs> Louter Brunnen is over. we finished, we've left. We're actually at our next, next destination here right now. But the town is stunning isn't it? Yeah. That little road through the town that you drive towards the campsite just captures you straight away. You've got the the waterfall falling down to the right just after the town. All the little alpine buildings driving through. And then you've got the, the, the sheer cliff face mountains in the distance as well. It's amazing. We stayed at a campsite called Camping Jungfrau. We haven't really documented that this video but it's pretty much the premium site to stay in the area i think there's two or three down that valley but the camping young for hours are proper it's like a holiday park but the facilities are amazing the views are great it's not cheap it was like 50 or just over 50 quid a night wasn't it yeah it has three different toilet blocks um showers were great but they even have if you go upstairs in one of the toilet blocks, it's like family shower rooms with like big open space, sink, toilet, shower, everything in so you can spread out a bit. It's like your average bathroom, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a restaurant on site, a bar. We had the cheese, that's where we had the cheese fondue. It's just mind blowing, yeah. again. There's so much you can do around there. I mean, we mainly just did walking this time. There is a lot to do, there's a lot to see. Just take lots of money. We just decided to do as little as possible. So this time we just had a little trek up to Vengen and a trek down the valley. Just see what's here, yeah, just see what's around the local area. And got drunk with some American people. Yes, we got. We were drunk before we met the American people. Aaron and I can't remember his. I partner, think it's Janet. It? But Janet. Mm. But yeah, they were. They were. They, they made the night a really good night. But yeah, so that that us finished for that for that episode of the trip. We're now at our next destination, so tune in to the next video to find out where we are and why we're here, because we're here for a very specific reason. <laughs>